Hi everyone, I'm Kathleen Birkinshaw, Japanese American author, and today I'm going to be reading from my middle grade historical fiction, The Last Cherry Blossom, and it's based on events in my mother's life in Hiroshima during World War II when she was 12 years old. I thought that today, being March 31st, it is the day when the cherry blossom um, bloomed the fullest in Hiroshima, in that part of Japan. And unfortunately, due to COVID-19, uh, we are all uh, having to stay in place. So since we can't see them out there, they can't enjoy them. And it's such a dreary day here in Charlotte, North Carolina, I thought it would be a great way to share some of the cherry blossom season with you. Um, and then I wanted to show you some of my little um, writing mascots and some other memorabilia that I picked up with cherry blossoms on it. The cherry blossom was uh, my mother's favorite festival uh, in Japan. And so I'm going to read from chapter 22, which is in the book where it actually discusses um, going to the cherry blossom festival. And there is a significance to it for the book, which I'll talk about when I'm done reading uh, from that chapter. Okay. Here we go. There will be some people that will be talked about, so in case you don't know, uh, Sumio is the stepmother for Yuriko, the main character. Machiko is her best friend. And Genji is her annoying little cousin. We drove about 40 minutes to Hijiyama Park. Once we arrived, I picked up the blanket and small picnic basket. Children in their kimonos ran up and down the winding path, pointing at the beautiful blossoms as their parents followed the trails of laughter to catch up with them. The paths were usually lined with paper luminaries, so the blossom's beauty could be enjoyed even after sunset, but the fear of nighttime bombing snuffed them out. We managed to find a picnic spot right under a beautiful cherry tree in full bloom. Petals of light and dark pink rippled with white hung on the branches as if they themselves were delicate lanterns. I can see the tall buildings in downtown Hiroshima from here. In fact, I can see all the way to Hiroshima Bay, I exclaimed. Yes, the view is almost as beautiful as all the cherry blossoms, Sumio replied. As soon as we had set down our things, Machiko and her family joined us. They added their blanket next to ours. We began to unpack all of the delicious food that we would share for Hanami. Yuriko, the cherry blossoms seem pinker than usual. Do you think so? Machiko asked as she picked up Norimaki with her chopsticks. Yes, they are breathtaking. It seems like there are more people here this year too, I said as I stole teriyaki from Genji's plate while he looked up at the blossoms. I think we need to enjoy the beauty more this year, since there is so much ugliness with the war. At the factory, so many families have lost fathers, brothers, or both. For some, the factory is their only home now. Machiko frowned. That's awful. I'm sure a factory would never feel like a home. We are so lucky to still have our families. And each other, we added in unison. Children gathered in the grassy area, not covered by picnic blankets. Genji tapped me on the shoulder. Yuriko, don't forget, we are going to dance and sing too later on. You promised. Yes, I know, I sighed. I was so happy to be out enjoying the cherry blossoms that I was willing to keep my promise to annoying Genji just this once. Yuriko, my younger brothers want to sing and dance too. We can all dance together, Machiko said between bites of her teriyaki. That would be more fun than Genji and me dancing alone, and I laughed. I wouldn't let you do it without me, Machiko smiled as she bumped against my shoulder. The sun shone through the clouds and warmed my face. I looked around and saw people in boats rowing out to enjoy the view from the river. A breeze shook the cherry blossom branches, making the petals dance. Time to sing, Yuriko-chan, Genji interrupted my thoughts. I stood with Machiko and her brothers, and we all formed a circle. Genji took my right hand, and Machiko was on my left. We began to run in a circle. We slowed down and began to clap while we sang the ancient song, Cherry Blossoms, Cherry Blossoms, on meadow, hill, and dale, as far as you can see, is it mist or cloud? Once our dance finished, we sat again on the blanket to watch the sunset. The purple and pinks of the sky made the perfect backdrop for the blossoms. A magical deep glow painted the sky. I wanted to hold this memory in my heart forever. Finally, we packed up our belongings and drove back to the house. The dining room doors were opened and the lanterns were lit. 
when we entered the dining room, the sight of the beautiful cherry blossoms in our own garden took my breath away. Papa invited us to sit in one of the many chairs set up along our antique cypress table. Once we were all seated, Papa raised his glass and said, Cherry blossoms are like life itself, so beautiful, yet so fragile that they bloom only a short time. A toast to my family and to enjoying our time together. Kanpai! We all replied with a joyful kanpai. As I sipped my plum juice, I glanced down and noticed the little scuff mark that my dead of sandals had made on the table when I was only four. Papa had placed me on the tabletop to entertain some guests by singing and dancing to the cherry blossom song. Yuriko-chan, did you hear me? Genji asked. What? No, I'm sorry. What did you say? I shook my head, coming out of my daydream. I asked if you were really allowed to dance on top of this table. Yes, Genji. I danced and sang on this table once. I'm jealous. You were so lucky. Yes, I was. I looked around the room at their happy faces, realizing that even though there was so much uncertainty and fear, joyful, happy moments still existed, and I smiled. Sakura Hanami, or the Cherry Blossom Festival, um, was something my mother looked forward to every year. And of course, with Japan, cherry blossoms have a very rich symbolism for them as well. And they do very big celebrations. During that time, they'll have different drinks for cherry blossoms, they'll have certain foods for cherry blossoms. But of course, this year, um, a lot of the areas with the cherry blossoms were kind of deserted because everyone has to stay indoors uh, to protect themselves. Now, for my mom, the, the cherry blossom festival, that was the last time that she spent with her entire family being together. So that was very special to her. And when I chose the name, The Last Cherry Blossom, for the book, I also thought of it as um, when the bomb was dropped, they had said that because of the radiation, that nothing would grow for about five to 10 years. But that following spring, the cherry blossoms did bloom again. Not all of them, but some did come back. And to me, that showed the uh, strength and the resilience and the persistence of the Japanese people to move forward after something so devastating. Um, and seeing the strength in my mom uh, as a result of that. So that's how I came to use The Last Cherry Blossom. Now, some of the things that I have that I think is going to be fun to show you has to do with cherry blossom time. My daughter had ordered some uh, coffee, some actual sakura latte. So it's supposed to have some kind of a sweet floral taste to it. And so it's just instant and you use the hot water and it actually comes out in a pink color, which I think was really cute. And it did taste very good. I also have um, some mascots that I have when I'm writing. I don't always write at this deck. Sometimes, most of the time, because of the pain, my pain level, I'm usually uh, in the family room on the couch and I'm using a laptop desk. But um, I always bring these wherever I go. These are my little mascots. I have a unicorn from Tokidoki. This is from last year, and her name is Sakura. And this one is Uchiha, and that was from this year. My daughter had given them to me. So with the cherry blossoms, I feel that they're very uh, good luck to use. I also have my cute little cherry blossom Neko teapot. I also happen to have Groot as well, um, and Blanche from the Golden Girls, but they're not related to the cherry blossoms. I also um, had done an order a couple months back, and um, through a, a, a crepe, Japanese crepe thing that they have for subscriptions, and it happened to be for the cherry blossoms. So I want to show you what I got in that. It was really, really cute. They have this little cherry blossom cup, and they also have a Shiba Inu, which is the uh, main popular breed of dog in Japan. And the reason I put that in there, and they have it wearing a little um, backpack and a little yellow hat, is because in April is the start of school in Japan. That's when their school year starts. Unfortunately, that won't be happening this year. Um, but this little dog uh, is usually out and about enjoying cherry blossom time. The other thing that's part of it 
is this little towel from Tell of Fate in cherry blossom. And an interesting fact, when we went to visit Japan and we would go to the public restrooms, I had noticed that there were no paper towel dispensers, um, not usually an air dryer, and I was very confused. And so, you know, you end up kind of shaking your hands dry. But then I watched and when somebody came out, I saw them take out a little towel like this out of their bag. And that's what they used to wipe their hands. So that way they could, um, wouldn't have to worry about building up too much paper and for the environment. So, and the other thing is that also came with this is there is a manga called Card Captor Sakura, and Sakura is the main character. So they've got this cute little lamp. You can probably see the oops, the design better if I hold it up too close to that. I think you'll be able to see how kawaii all this is. So cute. The last thing that I thought would be fun to show you is. I received these um, pickled, salted pickled sakura blossoms and for my birthday. And basically uh, what you do with these is you can make tea. I haven't done the tea yet, but if you then put them in warm water or hot water, they will um, grow from being these little bit you know, shriveled up for pickling. And it turns into... this. And so the blossoms start to bloom and they might rise to the top like that. And that was just in the time um, I poured the hot water in just before I started doing the taping. And so they'll last like this for a couple of days. So sometimes people will put these in little jars like this and use it to decorate the table. Uh, the sakura tea is used a lot sometimes at weddings. So that's the reason they would pickle it so they can use it throughout the year other than just at cherry blossom time. So I hope that uh, I could bring a little cherry blossom um, sunshine into your, your home today. And if you have any questions, uh, please go to my webpage at www.kathleenberkinshaw.com. I also can be found on Instagram uh, at Kathleen Berkinshaw and on Twitter at KL Berkinshaw one. Uh, that's the numeral one. And also I have my author Facebook page at the author Kathleen Birkenshaw. I would love to hear from you because if you have questions, I'd be happy to answer them. And I hope you enjoy the reading of the uh, Cherry Blossom Festival. And so please everyone, please take care uh, and stay well and stay safe. Sayonara!